old Nintendo gamer. And son. Hello and welcome to our daily Nintendo News Roundup on January the 23rd, 2021. To keep up with all of Nintendo's news, hit that subscribe button and give us a like. The Dragalia Lost and Persona 5 Strikers crossover has been named Cage Desire and is releasing on January the 30th. They've also given us a quick trailer which shows a glimpse of Joker and the Phantom Thieves in action in Dragalia Lost. The Pokemon Company has put out a new statement regarding modifications of save data in Pokemon Sword and Shield and Pokemon Home. They suggest that it's ruining the experience for other players and that a new wave of bans is incoming for those who have used hacked save data. The bans will restrict online and trading features and can be permanent or temporary depending on the case. And they'll make no refunds for any content that was purchased in those games. Turrican Flashback has a release date in the West, as Europe and North America, of January the 29th. This compilation includes Turrican, Turrican 2, Super Turrican and Mega Turrican. Gemini Arms has been updated to version 1.1.0, and the only inclusion here is that it implements an online leaderboard. This is also true of Missile Dancer, which has also been updated to version 1.1.0. Once again, the implementation of an online leaderboard is the only update. SNK vs Capcom The Match of the Millennium has been rated by the official Game and Rating and Administration Committee of Korea. This is the Neo Geo Pocket Color 1999 game and it seems to be heading to Switch. No dates when that will happen though. The Wanderer Frankenstein's Creature is getting a physical release in Japan. There'll be a standard version and a special edition, which includes a cotton bag, notepad, soundtrack CD and digital art book as bonuses. This will be sold from May the 20th, and if there are import options later in the future, you'll hear them here first. And lastly today, Project Warlock was only available on the eShop digitally. It's now getting a physical release thanks to Super Rare Games. There'll be 4,000 physical units, and each includes the cartridge, a full colour manual, interior artwork, an exclusive sticker, and three trading cards randomly selected from a five card set. Pre-orders open on January the 28th, and there's a link in the description below to the Super Rare Games' website. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give us a like if you've enjoyed our content. You can also check out our other great content on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and the Any Cafe podcast from all good podcast providers. Just follow the links in the description below.